Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the soft denture liner. So what is a soft denture liner? Well, a soft denture liner is what's used in order to help a patient that's experiencing some trouble with the fit of their dentures and has some sore spots or roughness or, or things that are irritating the soft tissues of the mouth to kind of help smooth those over kind of help get a better fit and help the tissues to heal or to basically, you know, get better from the conditions that they were in. So what needs to be done for a soft liner? Well, this is your traditional denture. So say this denture is not fitting anymore and the, it might maybe move a bit and cause, uh, you know, sore spots inside the patient's mouth. So a soft liner is mixed and put right into here and adhere, well basically put in into the mouth and I'll show you in just a second how we do that. Uh, and the material will adapt to the mouth so that there is no more movement, say, of the denture, um, you know, against the mouth and no rubbing, no sharp spot, you know, so it helps to kind of relieve things and it helps for a better fit for the denture. Now, I am gonna tell you, and um, I'm gonna show you a picture here in just a second, that a soft denture liner is meant to be a temporary measure. That is, it's meant to be there maybe for a few weeks to months. Like I said, just so that healing can occur, and you could say a better determination of the proper fit of the denture is obtained. Uh, that said, and as you can see from this picture that I'm showing you at this time, a soft denture liner is not meant to be in the mouth for three years or more. Now this picture is of a patient that came in uh, with a denture, with a soft denture liner that had been there for three years or more. Uh, that is not the intent of a soft denture liner. And as you can see, the result is less than appealing or appetizing. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how this is done, how we make a soft denture liner work with the mouth. I'll be using a stone model. Not gonna be exact, not gonna be perfect, but at least you'll get an idea of how things should, should be. That is how the procedure should be done. So again, the idea of a soft denture liner is to get the denture to be able to fit better to a patient's mouth. So here we have a stone model, very generic, it's not the actual patient, and we have this denture. And so, like I said, we have to mix the powder in an appropriate ratio with the liquid. So we mix the powder with the liquid. And we want to make sure that we have enough. So there is, I'm currently getting the right ratio here for our patient. So we mix it up as it is indicated in the instructions. We want to make sure that we get a good, thorough, full mix. And that way, when we mix it, we know that we have, you know, the right consistency, the right working time, and that's very important. You want to have the right working time. You don't want to just kind of schlock things in and hope for the best. That should be on the thicker side, but not too thick. You know, you don't want to sit there and be sending a solid into the mouth because then that's going to feel like a hockey puck. And believe me, I've been on the receiving end when somebody took an impression of my mouth of the hockey puck treatment. It is not fun. So you want to make sure you have the right consistency. You want to mix it well, but you don't want to spatulate it too much you want to kind of do your best to keep air bubbles out of the equation. And so what I'm going to show you is roughly the consistency. It should be creamy. You shouldn't see gobs of powder. There we go. Okay. So this is what it should look like. Kind of creamy. No gobs. You know, it is going to move a little bit, but 
and you apply it to the denture. Then you'll have the patient bite down for three minutes, three minutes. And then after they bite down for three minutes, you have them take it out of the mouth and you want to distribute it at least fairly evenly. Again, this is very, very crude and rough. You're hoping to get as good an adaptation to the, to the tissue as possible. So after they bite for three minutes, you take it out of the mouth, run it under cold water, you remove the excess, And again, this is not meant to be perfect. This is just meant to be an idea. So the liner will kind of go over and will fill in the spots. And because this is not the patient, you know, I'm just showing you for purposes that the liner will then adapt to the patient's mouth. And what you'll get at the end is a representation of, or a better representation and a better fit of this with the patient. Now, uh, like I said, not the not the patient, so not the right stone model, so we're not obviously going to get the right fit. But now you get a better idea that that vi that somewhat viscous but yet flowable material will flow and kind of create a a better fit of the denture with the patient's mouth. Um, and so, after applying pressure for three minutes. As I said, the patient's instructed to open. We take this out, run it under cold water, we remove the extra quickly, and then we put it back in the patient's mouth for five more minutes with the patient biting down firmly in both sequences, both the first three minutes and the next five minutes. After that second five minutes is done, again, we remove the extra and then we give uh, the denture to the patient and we see how it works out. And again, this is a temporary measure. It is by no means meant to be a long-term solution. It is by no means meant to last for three years as we had, or maybe longer as we had with that one patient. Um, but it is you know, meant to improve the tissue conditions for the patient so that there is no more discomfort and, so, and that we have a better fit of the denture. Okay, so after having had some time to set, and you know flow as best possible and again this is just meant for demonstration purposes it is not meant to be exact you'll see that there's some adaptation of the um you know liner to the you know patient's mouth or really stone model here uh, which again will give you a better idea of you know how this works um, so we'll remove it and so yeah as you can see you know, this is meant to help the denture conform to the mouth, you know, to where there was to, you know, and, and to make it fit better for a patient. Again, this is not the right denture for not the right patient, but it gives you an idea. This material will flow. It will adapt to the patient's mouth and even stick to it a little bit in this case. Uh, but it is meant to go ahead and uh, basically help the fit, keep it from moving around and wiggling and creating, you know, sore spots potentially for the patient in different areas. So that is a, the uh, demonstration of a soft liner for you. And hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what it is, what it's for, um, how it works, how it's done and uh, how long it's supposed to stay, which is really a few weeks to a few months. All right, so thank you all for joining me on this video about soft denture liners, which are meant to be temporary in nature, uh, so maybe for a few weeks to a few months. Uh, I appreciate you joining me on this video and know that there is a difference. Now, soft denture liners are temporary. You can then switch to a hard denture liner which can be done either in the dental office or by a dental laboratory, depending on what the practice decides to do, how their protocol is. Um, and that is a much more permanent solution. Now, again, if these lining methods, all right, so liners, hard or soft, don't really work out for the patient, 
Um, you know, those are kind of the more conservative types of treatments to see if a denture can once again fit the patient properly. If they don't work, then maybe uh, it's time for the person to consider either a new denture or an implant supported denture. But again, that's up to the patient. And so, um, you know, that basically is a question of what the patient wants to do. So that said, thanks again for joining me and I hope you're all staying well and healthy.